What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can randomize the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion on PC with a controller mod to allow controller support. Before we get any further into the video, don't forget to like this video please because it really helps with that YouTube algorithm. It helps people to find my videos. Don't forget to comment down below as well. Comments help with the algorithm and it also helps me to understand what you guys want to see. Don't forget to subscribe because we're really trying to grow. We're hoping to get to the first thousand subs by the end of this year. Don't forget to turn on those notifications as well because you'll get notified of all of my uploads and my live streams when I go live. And don't forget to join me on my socials those are all linked down below but let's get back into the video now what does this randomizer do so there exists two different randomizers for oblivion on pc and this is the one i choose to use the the other one that exists is a very broken randomizer because it not only randomizes quest items but also randomizes N uh, npc armors and weapons and their aggro often you'll get attacked by a bunch of npcs it's not really a fun randomizer, this one is. This is a logic based randomizer. So the way this works is it will take main quests, so anything that's main quest or a guild or uh, Daedric quests and other quests that are related to main quests. And it will randomize the given rewards from those quests and you have to find your way through each one whilst trying to find all of the items for the main quest. Basically, you jump about the different guilds as the, the specific randomizer seed gives you. It's really fun, actually. Um, this uh, page on Mod Nexus, ne Nexus Mods, where you get the mod from, uh, this gives goes into great detail about what's in it, how to start a randomized run, um, stuff that they're planning on implementing soon. All this stuff is all right here, but this is a tutorial on how to get this all working. Now, when you come to this page, all of these things you need to download are going to be in the description below, uh, beneath all my links, don't forget to join me on those. Um, so when you click files, and you need to create an account for this website too, with no account you can't download from here, so you need to create an account. It's free, you don't have to pay anything. So when you come to here and you'll hit manual download, this is to download the actual randomizer, it's going to tell you you need a few things. So it's recommended that you use the version of Oblivion that has every DLC. You can technically use versions that don't include all DLCs, but for compatibility, I'd recommend it. Because it tells you you do need Shivering Isles, because they are planning on adding uh, Shivering Isles support soon for their quests. You're also going to need another thing called Conscribe, the unofficial Oblivion patch, and OBSE. So let's quickly go through, and I'll explain what each of these files do. So OBSE, you're going to need. OBSE is generally a manual mod manager for the game. Any mods that you install are going to go through OBSE. So you need to get that downloaded, definitely. The unofficial Oblivion patch, I guess you don't technically need it, but I would highly recommend it. This just includes an absolute crap ton of bug fixes and position fixes for items. It's super useful to have. It basically fixes the game the way that Bethesda never did. And Conscribe. So Conscribe actually outputs logs for the game. Now, with the randomizer, it's actually going to allow you to output a spoiler log. So if you get completely stuck to the point where you do not know where to go, um, this spoiler log will tell you what quest has what item so you can progress through. Just like any other randomizer that generates a spoiler log. So once you've got all four of these downloaded, you know, your desktop should look like this. You'll have five items. Actually, no, not five because we've not talked about the other one yet, have we? So we're going to quickly talk about this. So this is Northern UI. I actually don't have this pulled up because this is not a part of this. Um, so just search Northern UI. I can't spell Northern UI. There we go. So Northern UI, this will also be linked. So this is the mod we're going to be using to get controller support. So this basically has two different versions of the file. You have when it wants to load. Thank you. You have Northern UI and you have Northern UI Vanilla Style. So for this, I'm using Vanilla Style. What this does is it adds controller support and keeps the UI the way Oblivion intends it to be. Or you've got normal Northern UI, which changes the Oblivion UI to look a bit more like Skyrim. So it's up to you whichever one. Both of them will include controller support. So if you want to use the more Skyrim styled UI, pick the top one. If you want to use a more Oblivion styled UI, pick the bottom one. Anyway, now you've got all five files downloaded. So we have 
Randomizer, Conscribe, OBSC, the unofficial Oblivion patch, and Northern UI. So we're going to start by, now you need to make sure as well that you've at least booted the game fully once because you need all the file directories to be installed correctly. So assuming you've done that, um, just go to Steam. It's opened up my other monitor, very nice. Uh, library, and then you want to navigate to Oblivion. Uh, Elder Scrolls for Oblivion, there we are. Right click on it. Uh, then you want Manage, Browse Local Files. So this is going to open up the game directory for Oblivion. As you can see, here is all of our Oblivion files. So now we can go ahead with this. So the first one you're going to want to install is OBSE. So just open the zip archive that you get given. And all of these files, copy these into the main Oblivion directory. Right there in the main directory. You may get asked to overlook some copied files depending on if you've installed any other kind of mods before. If not, then you're pretty set. That's OBSE installed right there and then. We do not need that folder any longer. Now, these other ones can be installed normally in any order. I would honestly recommend doing the unofficial Oblivion patch next. So the unofficial Oblivion patch, you are gonna need a, um, like a 7-zip or a WinRAR installed just to get this open. But once this is installed, so you've got all your files within your thing. Just get all of these. Go into the data folder. Now you'll notice actually in here that there is an OBSE folder. So it's going to ask you to merge these folders when you copy all these files. But copy these right in here. So it's going to process all of this stuff and it's going to transfer. Of course, transfer speeds are going to be heavily dictated by what kind of drive you're using whether you're using a hard drive, an SSD, or an M.2 SSD. I'm using an M.2 SSD, so I have really fast speed when it comes to copying files over. Or at least I normally do. There we go, it's speeding up a little bit, but still being a little bit slow. Oh wait, no, I believe it's installed on my hard drive, never mind. That's why they're slow. I installed Oblivion on my hard drive because I'm running out of room on my main drive for games. All right, all of these files are going to copy over successfully and the folders automatically merged. So when we go in OBSC, we have plugins and then this is going to show you all this stuff. Now we're done with the unofficial Oblivion patch. That can be closed. We do no longer need that file. So that's two down, three to go. Next, you can just get the uh, randomizer file. So literally these two files Copy, paste right in here. Wait, no, sorry. Data folder. There we go. Because the randomizer is an ESP file. So an ESP file is kind of like an add-on file for Oblivion. If you notice, like all the DLC stuff, they are all either BSA files or ESP files. So go into the data folder of your Oblivion folder. Copy these two files right in here. We no longer need the randomizer folder. Now these two can be done in either or any order. It really doesn't matter. Conscribe. So again, you take these, copy both files right into the data folder. Now the OBSE folder that's in here will get merged with this one. So files then get added over. We no longer need this folder. And then finally, Northern UI. So again, just like before in the data folder, of your oblivion directory copy all of these folders over to here it's then going to start transferring files boom done now all we have to do is boot the game and we should have a randomizer with controller support now i will point something out quickly as well it may take a couple of reboot attempts in order to get the controller support to fully work uh it's a bit sketchy because of course this game does not naturally have controller support so I've had it have problems before like that. All you have to do is just reboot the game a couple of times. It should work. So we'll go to Oblivion, launch it. But then you look, my saves have set up. So when you get into this screen here, we're going to want to go ahead into data files. And as you can see, there is a few things we can now add. So 
the uh, Oblivion Citadel door, add that. Basically turn pretty much all of these on. All of these files are going to allow a lot of the stuff we just added into the data folder. So stuff like the randomizer. Uh, and then again, you can turn it all off as well. Like when you come back out, it's not really a problem. Once you've done that, just click OK. Uh, make sure obviously your options are set the way you want them. For recording purposes, I'm using 720p windowed because I want it to be shown properly and not cause issues with OBS. So we'll do that. Hit play. Oh, actually, before we do that. Make sure, if you're planning on using controller support, that your controller is plugged in. I kind of forgot to do that, so I'm going to do that quickly. Alright, so I found my controller. Um, make sure that that's plugged in before you actually boot the game. Make sure your data files are all turned on, like I said before. Your options are all the way you want them, and hit play. So, the controller should work out of the gate, but uh, the, the full support for it can be a little bit questionable at times. Uh, so, just be fully mindful of that. Like, things might not work fully, fully, but we do... Oh, my files are open. That's why that's not working. Whoops. Uh, so, I have a controller on screen, so you can see my inputs as I do them. Um, so, if the controller support is working correctly, if you go to options, there'll be an option for gamepad. In here, you can turn up and turn down look sensitivity if you want, um, which I do highly recommend. Uh... But what I would... Wait, what? No, back. What? Um, getting in and out of menus can be a bit funny with the controller support, though. So one thing I'd also recommend you do is go to controls and turn mouse sensitivity all the way down. Because that can affect it as well. So be mindful of that, too. Now, the randomizer won't start the second you create a new game. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to load up a previous save in the sewers if I can find one uh, where I can just load up and show you. That looks like one of the earlier... Oh, wait, no. Nice, we have one just outside the sewers. So once you leave the sewers... So with the randomizer working... Give it a second. There we go. So once you leave the sewers, uh, the A button's not working for this, that's fine. And like I said, controller support for this can be a little bit sketchy, so just, again, be mindful. So, uh, for God's sake, dude, there is so much of this stuff. There we go. So you'll notice that unlike in normal Oblivion, there is a statue right here of, it looks like Marion's Dagon. Not Marion's Dagon, uh, Chergorath even. So you come to the statue and it says um, activate randomizer startup. So now you can either do a new random run or build from a existing like file that someone's made for like what's called a plandomizer. Essentially, it's a randomized file that's randomized by someone else for you. Just click new random run. Everything should be ready. Have fun. And then the spoiler log will be generated in the conscribe logs folder in the data folder. And now everything is randomized. So say, for example, like I said, say if we quickly go to the uh, the arena. Because originally you're supposed to get a raiment from them. Which is what you use to actually uh, to compete for those guys. So if we quickly go ahead and grab whatever the item is from them. Oh, wait, do we have to wait? Because, yes, we uh, yeah, we do. One hour as well. We have to wait one hour. Alright, so quickly go over to these guys. Start up the arena quest. It's not letting me go through text boxes for the controller. Oh, no. oh my god, no. You again, huh? I want to be combatant. Uh, so go for whichever one. The reward will be the same, so it's fine. Uh. Oh, this is a interesting. Get a move on. So this is actually a null reward. So a null reward is where you actually don't get a reward. Certain items have been removed from the pool. So we didn't actually get anything. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> uh, But yeah, anyway, that's the game randomized. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on notifications and join me on my socials. Those are all linked down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one.